Uh, okay, so I'm re-recording this because of the wind noises. I, I believe now it should be uh, lower. So, first thing, uh, remember this is dead string validator or de decorator validator uh, that we added or decorated the path of dead with. So this will only accept the the ISO dead format. So let me just open Postman just to make sure uh, I, I don't make this very long and remember the ISO format uh, I already showed you but it has some extra things after the date like extra characters and extra uh, and have it has also the time so let me just show you I think if I can just show it to you in a browser so if you go to the console oops just put the new date then uh to iso this is the date that the current uh, validator accepts so i'm going to change this uh and i'm going to create a custom validator for that and it will be um really simple so first thing i will create a folder in the entities called uh, custom validators and inside of it i will create uh, another file called uh, is dead dot custom dot ts and what i will create and i highly recommend that go that you go and read the documentation for the class uh, validator and go to the section the custom validation class so you basically you create uh, you have two options you either create your own decorator and uh, using a function called uh, just a decorator like this and this is the uh, options or you create a class which calls which uh, dec decorated with the validator constraints and you use it with the validate decorator that they provide like this so this is the constraint class that they defined over here so I will put a link in the description so you can read these uh, it's really important I will show you two examples the first one is in, the in this video where I create a class and uh, put the class uh, as the validator here which is something not exist in the documentation it's, it's in, or no it is exist it's this example <laughs> but I will show you this something that look, look, looks like this but in the next video when we check the uniqueness for any property we have in any entity I will show you, uh, I will use something like this so just to give you some examples, that's the idea behind this so first thing I will use the decorator at constraint at validator constraint and I will decorate a class called is dead string constraints and this will implement the validator uh, constraint interface and they these two are from the class validator package so if you go to the documentation you can actually sorry you can actually just copy paste the two methods that we need to implement like this let me import this so the validate and the default message default message is the the error message that will be returned to the client when the validation when this function returns uh, false and this should return a promise a promise that resolved a boolean or a boolean in this case it will just return boolean and this will return a string and I will validate the date the string that has a date in a specific way I will use moment I already installed it so and install the types you can install them like this so npm install moment after this finishes npm install at types then moment uh, then dash d for to make it a de development dependencies like this so i highly recommend that use moment because if you used uh, a regular expression or a uh, date dot parse this function i mean it has some edge cases that they want to handle so i highly recommend that you use a uh, moment jazz like this so moment and i will create a private property read only also uh, yeah let's call it val this will be equal to a function 
uh, the type of that function like this or the shape of that function so it has a, except in, accepts an input and a format and returns a boolean and I will give it a value in the constructor so this dot val will be equal to input uh, string format uh, also string and this will return moment give it the input and give it the format and just ask moment just is this is valid or not that's it uh, I'm using this function just to so I can uh, shorten the text the return uh, statement here so that's it so what I will return I will return expression this dot val I will accept two formats so this is the value with should be text I will rename this this would be the date that the user should send uh, the text that uh, should be dead pass this here as the input and this is the format so I would accept the month at, as the beginning at, at the beginning then day then year uh, or this dot var and I will accept if the day is at the beginning so both of these formats I will accept and for the default message these uh, these arguments here and here contains few they are from the same type and they contain the value that the user sent uh, the constraints the target name and the object this is I think in this if we use this decorator inside the user's entity the object could be the user's entity and this is the property uh, this is the property we are, we are validating this is actually most of the time but this and this what we you will be looking for most of the time so what I will do I will destruct from args the property and I will return I will use the back stick this is next to the one uh, keyboard keyword in your keyboard so I will use that and inject the property name uh, just copy paste and this should be in format month I mean I'm repeating myself here but you can uh, maybe come up with maybe you can store them in a, as a private um, members in the class I think this is a better idea but yeah now let's just uh, dec store this as a decorator I will call this is the decorator I'll call it is dead string custom this accepts the validation options that we pass for example here the message the always these things this is the first argument it, it comes here so I'll call this validation options and this is actually optional because you can uh, pass it or not and you, this is the interface and this should return a function and this function uh, accepts two arguments the first one is the object the second one is the property name property name if you decorated this or this each time uh, the property name would be the property you decorated so for example if you decorated this it will be it will be birth of dead or this it will be email um, and object this will be the class that you use that decorator on so if you use if we when we sorry when we use <laughs> this class uh, in this entity object will reference that I mean they called it in the documentation object if you are maybe because um, classes are just constructor functions they are like a uh, syntactic sugar for constructor functions we don't actually have classes in JavaScript uh, they will be converted to constructor functions and each method you have inside of it will be added to its prototype uh, that's as far as I know but the, and functions they are considered object and actually if you check the type for this this would be a function uh, I think and this is the prototype I mean something like this I'm not that good of, uh, at uh, this uh, nature of JavaScript I can handle it I can't write code in it but I'm not that uh, good uh, in these kind of things but what we need to do uh, we will call this function just a decorator and import it from the class validator and this will have a target property which is the object oops the object uh, dot constructor we're giving uh, the constructor for the uh, class we are validating and the property name this is the same one as here 
and now the options they are the options that uh, you you passed you may pass or you may not uh, the validator this is the most important important part this could be an object but in this example it will be is dead string uh, constraints and uh, is this a synchronous validator no so a sync false and that's it so let's just export or, or create a file to export things you can just export them but I like to do this or export this function and go to the user's entity and just import it I mean I can just put it and then so I'll remove this decorator and put our decorator it's imported from here from the custom validators uh, and that's it so npm run dev and remember in our package to JSON we added the path in the scripts here so this is we, we are just adding um, a hard-coded path or hard-coded entry point to our app okay let's now go and check our validation so let me go and grab an ISO format uh, that one second just uh, I opened a course on another window so new that to ISO format okay so this won't be accepted this ISO format so let's send this user you will have an error message yes birth of date should be in for uh, this should be in format this is a typo but these are the valid, the valid formats and um, even if you for remove this part and send this this also be invalid because it should be forward the slashes and the month should be uh, sorry yeah the year should be at the end this is valid so this is fine and this is also valid so 28 then 06 so the month at the middle yeah this zero for the email because it's not unique we will do this in the next video but uh, yeah okay so that's it that's uh, uh, the basics of custom validation or custom decorators that do validation oh, thank you